A tense atmosphere and emotions running high accompanied a meeting of the world's leading oil producers. And it resulted in OPEC leaving production just as it is. The reaction was swift on the markets, with the price for black gold immediately on the side slide again, down to a five-year-old low. RT's Murad Gazdiev is in Vienna and joins us live and now. Murad, uh, rarely has nothing uh, happening been such a big story. Give us the low. Well, our first hint as to what had happened came when uh, the Gulf ministers came walking out of the summit, smiling ear to ear, when just a few hours before they had got in uh, visibly quite agitated and wearing frowns. And the journalists, uh, hungry to find out what had happened, what they had decided on, uh, quite virtually uh, mobbed them uh, in, a, in a bid to get their answers. And the police got involved and it got quite rough. But I can tell you, not everyone was happy. The Nigerian minister who I spoke with just before the summit started and who told me, uh, who professed alarm at the collapse of oil prices, she said with a blank face that they had reached a consensus to do uh, absolutely, uh, absolutely nothing. And in this case, it seems the minority beat out the majority. Uh, in this case, again, uh, the Gulf states, the rich Gulf states, who have uh, $2.5 trillion saved up, uh, they, they can, uh, they can, uh, uh, they can weather this uh, price storm quite easily. But the poorer uh, states, the poorer uh, OPEC members, uh, they will find it hard to do so. They depend on oil revenues to get by. Uh, their budgets are dependent on oil revenues. So there's more pain ahead for them. In the hours during the summit and straight afterwards, oil fell by $2. Uh, and it's predicted to fall even further now. Borod Gazdiev in uh, Vienna there, who's been following that OPEC meeting for us. Thank you very much for that update.